Miss Melinda here, your spiritual advisor from MissMelinda.com, here to bring you our new moon forecast for the new moon in Virgo taking place on Thursday, September 17th at 6 a.m. United States Central Standard Time. For today's reading, I'm going to be using the Morgan Greer deck. I will be pulling four cards, speaking about them individually, and then putting them all together. This reading is to offer us the guidance to best traverse the energy of this new moon of September 2020. And if you would like early access to these readings, Mystic members via Patreon do receive early access. They do receive this reading one week before the new moon. You can see the link below the video if you would like to sign up for Mystic membership or see more about it. What is the guidance or the messages that we need to best traverse the energy of this new moon in September 2020. Our first card is coming up. Our first card is the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords, a new beginning. The Aces are always new beginnings. Of course, the Swords are very much about air. This is a new beginning that is going to offer inspiration. It's going to offer a revitalization of your ideas, a revitalization of your inspiration, a revitalization of the momentum behind your plans and projects, the ideas and the intellectual foundation that you need in order to get those projects moving once again in the right direction. It can certainly be about a new beginning, but I get the impression that it's kind of like a restart. This is like previously the project or plans were not quite working out. Now the time is going to be ripe for actually moving forward with all of the energy and momentum that you need, especially in the practical, logical, mental landscape, meaning that your ideas will feel inspired and you will feel as if you have a strong foundation in terms of your vision and your plans for tackling that vision. Let's see what our next card is in our new moon reading for September 2020. What is the guidance that we need to best traverse this energy? I am seeing the strength card. The strength card is very much about mental strength. It's about willpower. It's about the strength that we need in our minds um, as far as focus, determination, clarity, uh, the, the kind of strength that is needed to overcome our inner demons, right? So when we're talking about the mental landscape, the inner demons that are there are self-defeat, self-sabotage, self-destructive tendencies, things that that have the potential to hold us back if we allow them to. That little voice in the back of your head that's telling you your idea is not good enough, the, um, the tendency to think too small, the inner critic speaking a little bit too loudly, the inner predator holding you back, telling you that you should not move forward. These aspects of your psyche that have the potential to become monsters when we don't notice them or when uh, things get out of balance, right? So the strength card indicates that this is going to be a good time to stick to your mental clarity, to stick to your mental strength, especially coupled with this Ace of Swords, but is also serving as a gentle reminder to keep that quiet determination about you, to maintain your focus, to maintain the clarity of your vision, and to do it in a way that is gentle and determined, but not, uh, not aggressive. It's not like you have to overcome those forces within you or those uh, mental distractions or those mental um, 
struggles. It's, it's not as if you have to overcome them with force. It's not as if you have to fight. It's the guidance that is coming through now is that it's more about just gently and kindly redirecting your focus back to point A, keeping yourself on track, keeping yourself on that path the same way that we would in, men in meditation, right? Gently and kindly bringing ourselves back to focus without any shame, without any guilt, without any uh, over analysis, just, ah, I've become distracted, distracted, and now I'm bringing myself back to center, right? What is the next card? The next card is the Emperor card. The Emperor card is all about a tendency to control. Uh, I'm picking up on a lot of energy here about plans and projects. So within that context, this is all about um, a need to control details, a tendency to become too detail-oriented or too perfectionist. Could even be some um, OCD type of characteristics coming out. And the emperor here is to remind you that Yes, you are the boss. Yes, you want to be the CEO of this project. Or you, yes, you are the one in charge of your life's plans. But don't get too carried away with the details. Don't get too carried away with perfectionism. Don't get too carried away with trying to control every aspect of it because you're just going to set yourself up for more challenges and obstacles. So the Emperor card is here within this context to remind us of the balance that we need in terms of how we manage and how we control. Let's see what our next card is in this new moon reading for September 2020. What is our last piece of guidance to carry us forward in best traversing the energies of this new moon? The last card is the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is all about patience. It's all about moving forward step by step. It's all about understanding that true progress is made when you allow yourself to take things one step at a time. Um, it's kind of like the old adage of um, slow and steady wins the race, right? The, the Knight of Pentacles is very much in this reading reminding us to be patient with ourselves and to be patient with our circumstances and to continue to take things step by step. The Knight of Pentacles is here to tell us that our plans and projects around this new moon in September are going to benefit most greatly when we allow ourselves to focus on one thing at a time, one foot in front of the other. Um, the kind of clarity that we need is only going to be accomplished when we slowly and gently, kindly and gently bring ourselves back to each individual task at hand and we accept the fact that we can't do everything all at once and that we're really going to make the most progress in the best possible way when we just stay focused and stay on task one step at a time. Let's bring ourselves back to focus. That is all about this new moon energy in September 2020. Thanks so much. Stay blessed.